Hi guys, welcome back to Motorhome Adventures. We are off to Windermere and we're staying at a camping and caravan site there, um, Windermere on Bowness. And we're just on the M6 at the moment and we'll be turning off very soon um, to head towards our campsite. Yep, a little bit blowy. Travelled up from uh, Liverpool from last night, if you caught that film. And uh, where we had a quick night, and um, we're certainly going to should be called Windy Beer. Yeah. There's, uh, there's uh, some quite some quite blowy crosswinds coming up the M6, but uh, looking forward to getting into Bonus. Uh, we haven't been to that one before, and whatever the weather, a bit of walking, I reckon, don't you? Yeah, we've got our waterproofs, so we've got our yeah. boots. Um, so it'd be nice to see Windermere and the surrounding area. And uh, well, of course, when we get there, we'll show you the campsite as well. If you ever, if you, if you ever are thinking about staying there, at least you'll have a, a bit of a heads up. Yeah. See you up there soon. Just arrived at the Bowness on Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site, um, which is very, very nicely located next to the river and not far from lots of cafes and bars, and the town's not far away as well. Which is a great stop for us. Yeah, yeah it does look hard. Yeah, and we've been boat out. trip. Oh, yes, definitely going to do a boat trip. <laughs> the next few days. There we go, there's a reception I think. Yes, that's a reception. She said over there. Lovely jubbly. So, first job before we drop onto pitch. Let's get a quick bit of, uh, well not a quick bit, well as we're here for five days, do a complete fill. That will be uh, 120 litres for this. We were travelling, well, we were travelling about 20%, so a twiddle of thumbs now while we do about 80 odd 90 litres. And this is the little walk into Bowness itself. Very pleasant, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. You snug and cosy in there. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and look, there's a load of um, a load of spots as well. The, the caravan and Camping and caravanning site is just uh, sort of over the back there, and then you've got uh, a number of uh, park ups there. So if you're not here, if you're just here for a day or two, and you can uh, you can live without the hookups, etc., then uh, that's a great little spot. 
I tell you, I can't believe there's uh, still some free park ups left in a town. Oh, no. Almost unheard of, isn't it? And cafes and restaurants yeah. are close at hand in Bowness. It so is. You can pick up the road to Mindermere if you want a, um, a different set of bars and restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, too. We're off um, going on a boat trip today. Very grey, very windy last night, but anyway, full on waterproofs on. Have hood will travel. Yeah, we're going to see if we can find a boat up to um, up to Ambleside today. So looking forward to that. So it's a tad full of water here. I think the ticket office is almost going to become part of the uh, the boat that gets us to Ambleside by the looks of it. Look at that. Certainly had a bit of water, that's for sure. If you were thinking of doing it, it's uh, £15.20. £15.20 return, come back any time of the day. Uh, that takes us up to Ambleside and back to here. £15.20 per adult, that is. Lovely. Look, a bit of blue up there. Whoa, we're going on Cumbria 3. Miss Cumbria 3, no less. Lovely. And yet more little bits of sun peeping around. A little bit of blue up there. Such a beautiful place though in any weather. About a half hour trip it is from uh, Bowness on Windermere up to Ambleside. Lovely, lovely. We're not quite brave enough to be uh, to be up here though on the top deck, albeit there are some. Remember um, years ago as a kid climbing um, Helvellyn a couple of times on an outward bound course and some other beautiful walks that we did at the, uh, from the outward bound centre on Oldswater. When I was a scrap of a lad. Now, with around 80% of the shoreline which surrounds Lake Windermere being privately owned, one of the very popular public areas which is open to all is coming up on your right hand side. This area is known locally as Miller Ground. Lovely indeed. What a lovely little potter up the lake that was. In fact, the whole lake itself is about it's just over 10 miles, so it's a fair old stretch of water. We've just come in at Ambleside. The village is sort of off that way. Gonna go for a wander, I think. Too good not to while well, we've got, or not got, should I say, the rain. Isn't that lovely, eh? We're just, uh, we're just trying to find a path which takes us to a little waterfall called Stock Gill. Looking down there on Ambleside, or the top end of Ambleside, and then um, the main A road through Windermere would sort of head off in that direction. Then off to your right, probably up there in the cloud, well it's a long time since I was at the top of it, would be uh, Helvellyn and the Helvellyn range, so uh, once you've gone up through Glen Ridding, just beautiful. Hopefully we'll find the waterfall. Just water everywhere. Absolutely tipping off the hills. Look at those lovely mossy stones. Beautiful and the size of this. That is a proper big tree that one. Absolutely stunning. Look at that, we're starting to get up to cloud level, a little shower coming up. 
But still, those lovely breaks in the clouds, just lovely time of year, this. Albeit the lakes are beautiful at any time, but just love it. Wow, look at that. Isn't that lovely through the little gate? Just love it. Drama of the water in winter. Beautiful. And then I think um, this one will feed down towards where we're heading, which is uh, Stockgill Force. And hopefully a charging waterfall down the bottom. Oh, you can hear that sound, and look at that, wow, that's proper water there, isn't it? Oh, look at the spray coming up as well, oh. Look at that. So little people right up the uh, another little bridge up there. 80 odd feet perhaps. That's some raging water. So spectacular. Love it. And we made our way down to the bottom of the, uh, we came in at the top in fact, that first uh, pick we showed you. And there's the bottom end, so we're sort of down into Ambleside now and the start of what would be the walk all the way back up. Just a spectacular little short walk, only a couple of miles, but some beautiful scenery and obviously lots of that amazing charging water. Lovely little stroll. I probably recommend that one, folks. probably the smallest house in the world <laughs> yeah I bet it's not the cheapest house in the world though eh? if it were ever to be sold A busy little town is Ambleside. Look at that. Lovely bit of sun, more especially, bit of pitch and putt. Crazy golf. God. Well, it says we can relax on the grass paddling. Well, that's probably about right because it's pretty full the lake here, look at that through there, that's supposed to be part of the uh, park itself, all water. Guys who were running the boat said uh, that the levels are very high at the moment and they're expecting them to go higher for the lake here, you can sort of see it in the distance there, that should all be, all be meadow. Hmm, certainly been some water. And there we go, back round, back round to Windermere, Windermere, lovely. Bit of milky sunlight, 
about half past two. Rapidly dropping winter sun. What a lovely shaped tree. Almost perfectly shaped. Look at that, isn't that lovely? There's our boat, uh, little boat jetty. Towards the end of the day, there are ferries are about every half hour to get us back down to uh, Bowness. What a lovely bit of sun on the lake. Stunning. Wow, a bit of sun on the fells. We were sort of just up there, over the back there, we went up and across and down the waterfall route. The rest of the town up in that way. It takes some beating, does the Lake District. It certainly takes some beating in any weather. So for the folks who've just joined us, a few basic facts as we're going along. Now the lakes, the largest of the English lakes, it was formed during the last major ice age. That was about 13,000 years ago. Uh, the lake is fed by four main rivers. To your right hand side you've got a couple of quite decent sized rivers, they're the rivers Grave Bay and Rove. You've also got the Gumsey Beck and the Trout Beck. The lake itself is ten and a half miles in length, just under one mile at its widest point. Yeah. Rezzy, is that thing alive on top of your head? It looks like a Looks like a sort of pack of gerbils on your head there. <laughs> but I'm gonna... Hello. What a look at that for a pom-pom. That's... I want to gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> it truly is alive, isn't it? Look. lost the plot it was that gluten-free cheese and onion toasty completely lost the plot at lunchtime <laughs> you do get a little peek if it's a bit to it if you look very carefully you actually see the antenna which was rather bizarrely left over by the merchant navy that's ray castle he's talking about national trust property this area of Lake Windermere is the deepest. Its uh, maximum depth is around 67 metres. And apparently just one step off the edge of that slight headland there and you're into 60 plus meters of water straight down wow amazing and beautiful another day another walk weather's not bad we are pottering up Orist Head today we're in Windermere just near Windermere station is where it's sort of starts from so uh, we're on the busy road that comes through uh, Windermere just by booths there Forest Head hopefully a view or two to show you only about um, two and a half three miles if you started from uh, 
from Windermere Station there and um, pretty good access if you're less mobile I think you can still get a fair uh, a fair way up and some uh, good views hopefully what a lovely crisp day that's some real howling winds overnight but um, the next couple of days is promising on the on our good old weather apps to be uh, to be quite reasonable dropping in temperature quite a lot down to minus three minus four here in the Lake District but uh, but the trade-off is these amazing blue skies absolutely love this type of weather cold and crisp bring it on my favorite mossy walls again mossy trees look Windermere just coming into view through the trees there isn't that lovely wow trees are clearing a bit I suspect if I look over this wall guys I think we're gonna have a lovely view Wow Look at that There are fewer places aren't there that you could ever describe as better Might be a bit warmer Might be a bit this a bit that but not really better just beautiful isn't it Look at that bit of a rainbow there you might just be able to see it be a few of them buzzing over showery a showery day forecast but nothing too crazy got the waterproofs on so it can do what it wants loads of wildlife a little map of where we're up to we're working our way up the squiggles and then we've got to look out for wildlife somewhere up here and oh hang on a minute something moving there oh my oh hang on which one's Nicky let me just work out is that is that Nick oh no no there's Nicky <laughs> I do see a striking similarity no I don't no no I don't know no <laughs> Must be a distant relative of yours, Nicky. <laughs> Aren't I terrible? Look at that. Off into the distance with a lake, all 10 miles of it or whatever it was. Absolutely fab. There's a fine bit of metal work. Look at that. Whoa. Quite that is solid, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I'll do the, um, I do Fab the, uh, design, yeah, do the sit test, there. yeah, yeah. Although if it's solid, st no, it's not no, I was going to say solid steel. That's yeah, quite good actually. Yeah, beautiful it's design, good. isn't it? Yeah. Very fitting. Very fitting. Now there's a good view back down to Bowness. So just uh, in the dip in there is where we came in on the ferry and then only with binoculars but we've just picked out the um, the actual campsite where the van is down the bottom there but what a lovely spot in the lakes isn't it eh? starting to cool down now in that wind that you can probably hear ready for the next week's minus temperatures but lovely bit of wind noise because we're on the top forest view If any of you are less mobile, then uh, the path we've come up is an option for no styles. You get the choice. So, uh, and it's this um, grey uh, compressed hardcore all the way. So it's even wheelchair accessible onto the top here, which is which they've done in the last couple of years. This winding path that we've come up. So, um, to them for making such an amazing view accessible to. Uh, that have used wheelchairs. 
Another passing shower and another rainbow. Beautiful. Nearly back down from Orest View. Pot of gold at the end, do you think? Could be. Wow, look at that lovely house. New meets old. So there we go, that was it. Forest Head and LRA Wood. Lovely. And definitely worth that view at the top, wasn't it? Right, time for a toasty, I think. And a cuppa. The telltale sign there. Of. Well, I've just added a 46 litre waste hog to the uh, to the rear garage. A bit better in the bucket I was using in Croatia to uh, get rid of a bit of the grey. And then uh, I've started to get that collapsed piping that fits onto the end of the adapter there you see coming out of the van. That's the first adapter that takes the um, collapsed piping which could then pipe straight into the drain if uh, as and when we get one on site which we've not got here at bonus so definitely 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 better than bucketing to be fair of course with no warning up and uh, no chocks on the wheels or anything I could have just driven around the corner to the grey waste drop but I wanted to give it to try as a latest acquisition and it um, it fits in it fits in I'll just hook the handle it stands uh, stands up right here so the handle is sort of up against that and then I'll wedge it in with uh, the box where I've got all my uh, rods and sods fluids and screen wash and all those sorts of bits I can wedge it in with that and a couple of bungees albeit the bad news is that's where I normally put the Kadak barbecue looped onto this, so I'm going to have to have a quick uh, rethink the next time we've got the Kadak on board. But there'll be room for everything, definitely. Not much in there at the moment, a bit different to when we were down south at the Med. This was absolutely chocker, but toasty warm in here because of the combi combi boiler just there which is of course getting quite a bit of use minus two minus four predicted tonight here at bonus on windermere but um but uh, isn't that just a lovely morning going off on a stroll on one of the fowls this morning and uh, it's absolutely stunning weather beautiful there we go cap back on oh yeah that's definitely got a fair bit in there and then it's got one of these little drop down things which um, you can put your um, toilet cassette onto if you're heading off with both but I've done that separately Definitely liking that. That's a lot easier. Croatia, because we didn't want to move the van because we had the awning and awning and everything out. Lights, you name it. We uh, we had to resort to about 13 buckets. Hence the uh, hence the New Year's resolution to find a decent solution for both a drain on the pitch and the occasion where we don't have a drain on the pitch. And we can carry a bit more, 46 litres in that. And there we go. Back in, see, just held there up against that. And then uh, once I wedge it with a couple of bits and then probably something around the back, well, I'll put this green, uh, this green bungee goes all the way over the top. And then I've got that yellow one which comes up over the box here and fits into these uh, these luggage clips so that uh, those two ones um, hold it perfectly in place. Just need another place for the barbie now. 
So another day and another stroll out and uh, look in the distance there we had a little dusting of snow by the looks of it so didn't land a snow on us last night albeit there was a bit of rain but uh, on the tops there just that faint dusting of snow in the distance wow this is these are the days aren't they eh? yes these lovely crisp crisp sunny days are gorgeous fantastic yeah the best weather for strolling in the lakes definitely The water levels dropped a bit since the last couple of days. You can see the um, the twig line has just receded about uh, two or three meters, and those signs just there were were actually in the water uh, a night or two ago. So just receding slightly, but still very high. To think we were on a hoax pipe ban in Wales about uh, two months ago. Crazy. A little walk out from the site and we've uh, worked our way up through the town, Bowness, and we've uh, just turned off onto a muddyish track but still pretty passable, that's not too bad. Should be some nice views up here though, we've been gaining height since we uh, left the campsite. What a lovely view through the trees again. Look at that frame by nature. Beautiful arch over the uh, over the path. It's as if it knew that years on there was going to be a footpath through here. That was a good old pile of logs. Uh, it's a kissing gate. I think I need... A kiss? Yes. Can't go past the kissing gate, can you, eh? And there's even a bit of warmth coming from that beautiful sun behind us. A bit of early spring warmth, a few bulbs pushing up as well in some of the window boxes in town. Proper signs. Spring is on its way. And it was 40 mile an hour winds last night. Van getting a bit of a blowing around and yet listen to this. Can't hear a pin drop. Uh, Punk. Well, you can hear a pin drop. <laughs> Just the old bit of bird song, absolutely glorious morning. <laughs> and look at this, we've been strolling along and we've come across this beautiful goshawk. Look yeah. at that, isn't he absolutely gorgeous? Finished goshawk, he is. Is he going to go for a uh, go for a hunt? Yeah, yeah. So he's a crow hunter mainly. Crows, oh yeah, lovely. So what for landowners or just uh, to keep the him going? Don't tend to mind, no yeah, crows. yeah. No, I wonder whether you were sort of asked by the landowners <laughs> to get rid of him. Look at yeah. how alert he oh he's beautiful. How old is he? Two. 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 Wow. Yeah, it's the second season. Just well, just getting towards the end now, aren't we, Carl? Two, gosh. Absolutely glow. What's he's called? What's he called? Omar. Oh what Omar. a lovely, what a lovely name. name. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. Things you see out for a stroll in the lakes. Look though, I stopped here. There you go, the first signs. First signs of wonderful spring. Gorgeous, just look at those hills in the background there. Wow. And apparently, this is the unnamed tarn. So I think, what are you going to call it, does he? Timothy. Tim oh, right. That's not bad actually, yeah, I quite like that. So the unnamed tarn, if you're following us on your OS map on this walk, is now called Timothy the Tarn. Perfect. Morning ladies. Mm -hmm. 
Don't blame you, nice bit of warmth. Minus four tonight though, so make sure you got your coats on. It was that lovely. It was that lovely that we've delved in to the picnic. What a spot over the picnic. Wow, and then we're off up uh, off up onto the top of school knot. Just up on top there to have a few of those. A little bit of snow capped as of overnight. Just coming up to the top of school knot. Look at those views opening up. Oh my word. Well, now that was worth the climb up, wasn't it? Whoa. Holy smoly. Holy smoly. Yep, definitely a photo or two required there, isn't there? Stunning. Definitely Sunday lunchtime down here. Wow. Late levels dropped even in the three or four hours we've been away as well. The banks are gradually re-emerging. Wow. <laughs> Calls it mid-air, what a catch. <laughs> Definitely the place to come if you're a turn or a Canada goose or a swan. Free Sunday lunch. I wonder if they have Yorkshire puddings as well. Mm. Perhaps they do. walking around the headland right down in Bowness Pier we're sort of walking generally towards uh, Ferry Nab the uh, car ferry just across to the uh, other side there although um, at the moment it's shut because the lake level is too high we were hoping to be able to cross over and do a bit of walking over there but still not reopened as of uh, got one more day tomorrow never know look at that though isn't that lovely Cracking bit of winter sun. And there we go folks, there is Ferry Nab. The Windermere Ferry. Outrageous, look. It's a whole pound to get across. If you're pedestrian in the But yes, I think uh, never know, it might be running tomorrow. A full, uh, full list of charges. What are we? Vehicles over six meters. So, yeah, we're looking at a tenner to get across. Very nice. There's Resi the Moho up there. So, we're coming in the sort of dog walk route as a back, uh, a back way into the site which comes through this very nice marina. In fact, while the, uh, while the wind's been blowing these last few nights, the, uh, all the uh, boats are mooring and masts have been rattling. But... Uh, it's actually a nice sound, isn't it? Yes, it is. And uh, believe it or not, you snake your way up through the uh, boats here. And this is the, uh, this is the dog walk exit or entrance back into the site.
There we go. Lovely. And there we go. Right next to my fresh and grey water point, so that's handy. So in fact, rather than wait till tomorrow, while we're out and about, let's show you around the uh, show you around the site here as well, give you a flavour of what they've done in that uh, couple of years that it's been shut and been refurbished. So the pitch we're on is sort of as you saw there, because we were just hopped in through the dog walk bit. We're right up the sort of top end of the site. Curve the road curves around here and then heads back down towards the reception area. Power nice and handy. Service point just there. And then these are, um, they've put in some really good sized pitches. Um, plenty of room, either for awning or for uh, if you're traveling with a vehicle as well. Some of them are, uh, are bigger than this one as well. Really nicely, oops, put my finger in the shot. Really nicely uh, set out. In fact, look at this one, this is absolutely huge. Number 10, blimey. That is absolutely enormous. So you could get uh, your van, your awning, your tow car, and still have a party on that one. That's absolutely massive. And they seem to work pretty hard to get them all level because there's all uh, some little steps there and that stepping down onto each pitch. So they they have worked pretty hard to get them level. We were we were near as damn it, only about um, a couple of inches out back to front on that pitch there. So uh, very well thought through. That gives you a good idea of how much space you get on the pitch there. Somebody's big old vehicle. This tent here has survived, hasn't it? Survived yeah. the wind, that yeah. one, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, and we've had 40, 50 mile an hour winds overnight. That must have really rattled that. Although, I wonder if that is a driveway awning. Yeah, it might be. And this goes um, back down towards the uh, shower block, so it's only a hop, skip and a jump down to the shower block. Lovely showers. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Yeah, it was. It was well, it's, they are um, very well nicely done, done, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Good showers. Lovely warm. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Look at it all. It's got that lovely, shiny, um, brand new feel. Mobile Vetter there. A couple of the wardens got that Mobile Vetter. That's where we stopped by the uh, tap there on the way in, you'll remember. Ladies and gents there, and shower block here. And then you just walk down this little bit here, and this is the second area. See the little road at the back there. And plenty of, plenty more pitches as well here. Marina all round. And it also looks as though, um, despite all that torrential rain we've been having, it doesn't look as though there's any issues here of flooding. I know we spoke to somebody else on site here who said they were going to try and get in at Keswick but couldn't. So came here because Keswick was flooded. So. It's also uh, perhaps one that is uh, slightly better located, so it doesn't uh, doesn't become susceptible to uh, some of those some of those torrential rains we've been having recently. And a nicely refurbished block, little cubicles there, and then um, some loos, and then three or four of these uh, of these recently done showers. Yeah, very nice they are too. Very nice. Bit of information there. Barriers closed between 11 and 7, 12 pm leaving. Free Wi Fi, if I haven't mentioned that already, that's handy. We've been streaming, in fact, um, Netflix through the Wi Fi, which works absolutely fine, so it's, uh, it's a pretty good speed. There we go. A 
bit of dishwashing, another little service point, and then along the back of the block here, family and baby change, other entrance into the loos, information room and laundry. You can see here as well some of these other really large pitches. Plenty of room for all your bits and pieces in summer. Definitely not got much out during our stay. If I'd put the awning out it would have probably ended up in the campsite over the other side of the lake I'd imagine. And oh, there we go, back round. So I think you'll agree they've done an absolutely top job here, really nicely refurbished and I suspect looking at how busy it was um, till this morning being Sunday now a lot of people have left but certainly really busy at the weekends and I suspect it will get very busy as we hit spring and of course summer but definitely on my list to rebook and explore some of them their hills a bit more still a bit more to do tomorrow so I'll show you that tomorrow Perhaps up towards Helvellyn Way. Don't think we'll get up the uh, up the big peak itself, but it'll definitely be a nice day tomorrow. Bit of sun forecast. Well, our final day in the Lake District, and look, couldn't be more suitable. The struggle, twenty percent, <laughs> and we're heading up onto that ridge somewhere, I think, which uh, which has to be done because, as you can see. And a bit more snow overnight we've got the uh, look at oh, look at that we've got the uh, bus up to Ambleside again from the site it was about 200 meters from the site it's uh, four quid one way for two adults so two pound each singles apparently the guy the driver said it was cheapest to get two singles and then buy another two singles when we come back so heading up for heading up this is obviously the road up to the Kirkston Pass and then uh, we hang a left off it somewhere on a footpath heading for sort of red screes is our is our sort of idea we'll see see what it's like as we go up though but forecast was really good today with some lovely clear skies so has to be done get a bit of height not saying it's cold, but <laughs> you can see, see Nicky's having a job getting up that, <laughs> getting up that driveway bit. Bit of wheel spin, but look at that, isn't that lovely, eh? It was certainly fresh last night, probably uh, minus five, minus six, but um, you can tell by those skies that we're going to get rewarded. It's only about half past nine, we've got an early bus. 8.39 was the first bus from the pier at um, Bonus. About uh, 20 minutes just up to Ambleside. Wow, it's actually easier coming up this now we've got off the Kirkston Road. It's actually easier. And in fact, I was sliding down more than I was going up at some point. It was. Now Bear Girls would say that say that the person in front of us is is probably 13 stone three, had bacon and egg and mushrooms for breakfast and passed by here 32 minutes and four seconds ago. Yeah, and they were Merrill walking boots. Oh yeah, yeah. That distinct line. Merrill walking boots with a slightly left footed gait. We're completely wrong, of course. Look at the sun's coming towards us now. Oh, as it comes sunshine. out over the yeah, look, we're just breaking out to the sunshine. Wow. Wow, just seen the bottom end of the uh, the far end of Windermere coming into view now as we still climb. And down there, down there, rival little rival water. Very scenic. But there's a uh, there's a reward for the climbing, but as soon as I've got my glove off for about 30 seconds, it's uh, it's pretty chilly. Ooh. Wow, that's right out to the coast, I guess. That'll be right on Barrow and Furnace Way. 
to get down out from the top there we were right up round the corner time for a quick snack isn't it and we've area. yeah very smart picnic area yeah sharing it with some sheep up the track there we're heading that way back into Ambleside we're about uh, 1.8 miles I guess from Ambleside now that's been a fair old hike that had to be pushing close to double figures, didn't it? Minus with a wind chill on top there. That was about 40 odd mile an hour and that was well fresh. Yeah, in fact, the uh, GoPro battery lasted about three minutes. I think it was that cold. It just said, no, I'm not even going to bother. So I've had to swap batteries. But boy, was it worth it. Look at that. Snow up to our knees at one point, coming down. Just beautiful there. Well, we made it back. The evidence is there. Minging waterproof trousers, boots are minging in the locker. And the, uh, and the step count went nuts. It says I've done about 28,000 steps today. Nikki's watch reckons she had done about uh, just over 10 and a half, and they're coming up 11 miles. So that was slightly more than we anticipated, but um, but still, nice evening sun here. And what should we reward ourselves with? I can feel a ruby coming on. A ruby in town. Yum. <laughs> 